Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Shave. How are you doing? Thank you Mrs H. Now those uh, may not be picture perfect as uh, Mrs H said but uh, they're all from the garden, every one of them. All from the back garden, really nice. How are you doing? The weather has changed again, it's very nice. Getting uh, towards the heat again so I believe. So. Um, it's time for the old Sunday shave. And what I thought I'd do today is I fancied Taylor of Old Bond Street. Coconut. I don't know why, I just fancied the Paul H. Bowl. And the razor of choice is this beauty. It's the Gillette Fat Boy 1960s. And um, no blade in at the moment. This is the, the standard issue. You know, I've got the Delta Echo. Razorworks version of this in the Cuban cigar, I believe it is. And inside this today, we're going to be using a pole silver super iridium. There we go, and there it is, brand new and always open. If you've got a twist to open, always slacken. Um, once you put the blade in, keep it slack while you adjust the mechanism to what setting you want. It helps the well, helps the insides, the mechanism, the gears or whatever. I'm going to use it on setting number five today. Um, the brush of choice is this. It's a Yaki uh, brush, badger brush. Good backbone to it. Sort of a two-band badger. Uh, lovely handle, uh, black with white flecks, if you can see them. Really nice. So, um... I've used that brush before, but I'm just going to soak it for a minute. Just wet it up. You should soak it for about five minutes, which I usually do, but not today. My hair looks funny in these videos. Sometimes you'll see a dip about here. <laughs> and uh, I noticed myself the other day, it looks like I've got a dip in my head. What it is, is the headphones I use uh, when I edit or listen to a video. I always have head headphones on. Right. Bit of useless information. And I'm using a new cream, aftershave cream, moisture cream, today. So, I'm prepping. Oh, yeah. So, not a lot left. Is it? So, I'm prepping today as we go. There we go. Don't need a lot of this, just gather some up like that, and that should be fine. There we go. So, you're in good health, are you? I hope. I do hope so. Hope the, the week's gone well and you have some good shaves. Um, right, we're organised now, so off we go. I'm going to create the lather and I'll just wet my face. So as you can see, that didn't, that wasn't soaking for that long, but it won't make any difference. Somebody did say in the comments, oh, you haven't used your bowl for a while. It'd be nice to see it. It was on a, oh, snifter. It was on a vacation. <laughs> Or holidays, we say. See, already starting. Badger brush, as I say, by Yaki. I'll put a link to them in the description. Also, oh, they're Etsy, I think. There we go. Thick, creamy, and pasty. Wet the face. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, fancied using a one of the old Gillettes today, so here we go. One thing with this brush, I can tell, it's as I say, it's a badger brush, but there's a good splay on it. 
really and it feels like you've had it for years like a I don't know just like an old run-in soft as a soft as a brush really nice Even the dog agrees outside. Now this can be a lot thicker and a lot creamier. But I left some water in the brush to see how it... And it's okay, we'll go back to that in a minute. So, Pole Silver Super Iridium, brand new blade. Gillette Fat Boy setting five. Here we go. Mid aggression. Nice edgy feel to the blade. Good sort of sharpness, but um, nice, nothing too major. Beautiful slickness. If you like coconut, a lovely scent. Nothing overpowering. But I have found with this sort of, with tailors, some of the, I mean, one of my favourites is the grapefruit. It's so realistic. Uh, takes you all your efforts not to eat it. <laughs> but um, this is nice. Coconut. But as I say, it seems to get slightly stronger on each application, obviously. Um, but nothing, as I say, over two powering. Over two powering, overpowering. And the uh, I got the almond, that's another nice one. So it's not a an aggressive blade, not like a feather or anything like that, but it's a nice blade, does it nice and smoothly, it has a sort of sharpness and edginess to it, you can feel, which is nice. Uh, setting fives just right, it's a sort of medium aggression as I say, but um, very nice. Listen to that, oh, that's coming off. Right off we go, back to this. We'll make it a bit thicker this time and see if it copes. Here we go. Much thicker. <laughs> Pass number two. Don't need a lot of this stuff. That's a nice brush. I haven't used that too often. Very nice. I like this, like a looks like a marble effect, like black marble or granite with some white flecks in it. It's nice. Right. Never sure of the model numbers of these brushes. I find you're just better off going to the website or to their shop and see, and you'll see, ah, oh, that's the one. You know, the don't seem to have, some have names, but uh, some don't. Here we go. Across the growth. Overhang, forgot to tell you, there is good overhang, so. 
I have to be careful here. Under the snout. Nice and lightly. Very comfortable, lovely slickness. Just glides like a, a nice skater's boot. <laughs> Say some silly things. I know what I mean. You up too much this weekend? You out? You stay normal? Having a barbie? <laughs> I haven't had a barbie for a while. The trouble is with me though, it's only me that eats the meat you see so, but you can, I could do some veggie stuff, with peppers and Stuffed mushrooms, stuffed peppers, and a couple of steaks. Lovely. That's beautiful. Oh, wet hands. Blend the soap in. Slickness. It's beautiful. So you're sort of wet in your face, sort of rinsing it, but you're not as well. You're adding a layer of water, which blends in the previous application, what's left of the soap. Uh, and it um, does its job lovely. Right, I'm just gonna add a touch of water to this, and I'll go back. There we go. Touch more water and watch this. Houston, we have lift off. Mm, lovely. Against the growth. On this beautiful Sunday morning. And uh, dinner. What are we doing today? Well, we're having a nice relaxing day home with the two girls. Two girls? Old Pavarotti and her sister. She hasn't, she hasn't chirped up yet. Probably still up in bed. Um, yeah, home today. This is H, me and them two. And I'm doing a roast lamb, shoulder of lamb. Beautiful. And what have we got to uh, Jersey Royals, have I? No, Pembroke, sorry. Pembrokeshire new potatoes. Which will be steamed. Um, some garden peas, which will be also steamed only for several minutes. And um, that's what I got. Oh no, just peas at you. I haven't finished yet, don't worry. And um, mint sauce, We've got plenty of mint in the garden. Um, if I use that mint, I may use, I've got some in a jar, that's a, 
You'll see there's plenty of mint sauce on the lamb and last shentos of gravy. Of course it's got to be. And as I said in previous shaves, for me the gravy must surround and go over the potatoes and the peas, surround the lamb with the mint sauce on it. And once I start eating it, that's fine. Not on serving. Not on the old uh, presentation. Beautiful day. Tomatoes are doing very well. Chili plant and uh, which are jalapenos. Mini cucumbers. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying them. Hopefully, and if you're growing anything, good luck this year. Good luck. That was a nice feeling when the first tomato goes in, you, you know, when you try one, you think, hey, it's, there's something about growing, you know, and you're quite proud. And it's, the taste is just much better, much better. Tomatoes are not. Three, two, one, pick up time now, baby. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> if we're still there. Here we go. Beautiful, look at that. Sorry? Oh, go on then. I won't be in work today. <laughs> I'd love to do that in work. From a distance, you see, it look a bit. Oh my god, what's happened to you? I've had an accident. And I'm entitled to competence and after to go. Everything's suing and blaming and PPI and. Anyway, pick up time. Never mind that. Absolutely beautiful. Very relaxing. Someone asked them, um, was in this channel or the other one, I can't remember now, but they asked, What's my first drink of the day? And mostly it has to be tea for me. I enjoy Yorkshire tea. I do like tea. And then after that it's uh, it can be a coffee later on. But uh Sometimes I've got a machine here, a pit, what's it called? Tassimo, Tassimo then, coffee machine. I was given it actually. Somebody on the round, elderly gentleman said, I never use it. Gonna put it in the bin, or would you like it? So I said, yeah, thank you very much. So I took it and um, you can do hot chocolate, you can do, uh, uh, what do they call it? Latte, uh, cappuccino. And I like latte, actually, Lat latte. Very nice. I will use the slickness now, just beautiful. And again, it's nice to see um, different subject. Back to shaving for ones. Um, the lady shavers out there, and thanks for sharing. You know the, especially Jill, if you're watching. Um, 
you always comment of what you're testing out, what you're waiting for, excited about different products. And I know there's a few that watch these videos, may not comment on every one, but I know you're there. But good luck, and you know, many more ladies try this and just a bit there. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Bit there. You can tell there's good slickness. We wouldn't do that otherwise. Right. Rinse and leave it wet because we're using the old alum today. Say hello to Alum. Alum, wet the alum. And off we go. No feedback. That's, oh, let me just uh, wet it again. No feedback. I can feel a bit of, bit of a tingle there. Very nice. Anyway, rinse that. Zero slickness now. <laughs> Lovely then, you know, from the garden. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. H. Right. Good grief. I don't know if it's a brush melting off. It's one of these cats that's rubbing. <laughs> okay. We're going to use now some of this. No, use that for a while. Lucky Tiger Aspen. This is like a, um, uh, what's this, a fresh spicy aroma. So we'll see. Gotcha, right? There we go. I knew there was one there. So here we go. Some of the blue stuff. I have decanted, I should decant that really. First of all, you get a waft of the alcohol, <laughs> which clears, <laughs> clears the nostrils. But, um, oh, that's it, and then it kicks in, lovely. Go on, sniff to that. Lovely. We'll have a bit more of that. It tastes sort of uh, fresh and spicy. Quite sweet. Very nice. Um, oh, and this stuff. I bought this in Books the Chemist. I seen it the other day. I think it was on it. Coconut oil, uh, body lotion, Palmer's. So uh, we'll give it a go. Don't need, don't need a lot. It's quite a thick cream and it should go well with this, um, it should go well with this uh, soap being coconut shaving cream. Oh, the smell of that. Ooh, that is coconut. That is beautiful. And it's quite thick. <laughs> I'm going to say, bit like me. Thank you. So you're coming for dinner. Are you coming for dinner? If you, if you are, just say yes, and I'll put a plate ready for you. Get the plate ready. Roast lamb. I'll put mint sauce in a dish for you in case you don't like it or you can add as much as you want. Be good, wouldn't it? Viewers for dinner. 
Right, enough jibber jabber. What we used? Gillette Fat Boy, 1960s. Setting number five with a pole silver um, super iridium extra stainless, brand new blade, lovely. Nice uh, on setting five, sort of a mid aggression. Um, you can always always think of these things and who used it, who bought it, who even made it, you know, that type of thing, what their lives were like and what the days were like then. And uh, fantastic, lovely razor. Bit of an edginess to this blade comes in them, um, but nice, you know, really nice. Just gives you that edge if you like. Use the Yaki brush, the black handle with a white flex, like a marbling effect. Lovely badger brush, like a two band badger. Uh, lovely, really nice. I'm not used that often, and it felt really good. No smell with it either. Um, then we rinsed off with water. We used. Good old aloe, and then we rinsed again, and we used Lucky Tiger Aspen aftershave, spicy, woody, sort of fresh uh, aftershave. Lovely, nice scent. Goes well with the coconut. Actually, we've used the Tale of Old Bond Street coconut shaving cream. Lovely. I used that for a while, and then to put the moisture back, I've tried this stuff. It's uh, Palmer's coconut oil formula. Body lotion, really nice, quite thick, feels nice and thick, a bit of arco-y type of, if you understand, um, when you put it on, if you've used arco, uh, really nice, very nice indeed. And there's the um, finish, fantastic. That is it, so I hope you have a fantastic shave if you're having one today, having a great weekend and uh, an even better start to next week until I see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So you take care of yourselves. You understand that? You take care. You know, think the world of you. So um, all the best, and I'll see you on Wednesday for that midweek shave. Take care.